guys uh, welcome to tech design in my previous video we have discussed uh, this assembly so let us continue this assembly now so I will just add a new component uh, the next component that is a fixed arm sorry fixed jaw so I'm just going to import it as you can see here this is let us make it uh, some proper alignment okay now if you can check here this has to come and sit in this uh, cylinders so what I will do is I'll just give um, concentric so in this case you don't need to give an align lock so the center line is more than enough so let us select this center with this center line okay and this center line this center line now let us make an uh, touch between this face and sorry let us make a touch between this face and this face now so as you can see here this is perfectly sitting so since we don't need this coordinate system I'm just going to hide it from the part navigator okay these are some assembly constraint which are visible if you don't want to uh, see them you can just directly go here and uh, right click and hide this so that it will be hidden so the next component will be the nut on this uh, bolt so let us import the nuts so I'll just go okay here is the import and this is the nut so let me move this nut to the proper location okay now let us go to assembly constraint here and here I'm just going to give a long lock a line lock between this and this now let us give a touch between this face to this face similarly we can uh, do it on the other side as well uh, we can make a mirror assembly so since this mirror assembly command is not explained to you so I will do it manually when this command is explained so that we can use it in the further assemblies so now again I will do uh, either you can do it add or else you can just copy it here control C and control V as you can see if you do unpack uh, this is our fully constrained component and this is not at all constrained so let us move it so this is the moment and assembly constraints align lock and here is the center line and there is a center line for this okay now it is align locked and let me give a touch between this oops sorry guys so touch between this and this okay so as you can see here this is also completely constraint now so next we have a jaw here which is uh, sliding so let us import that now go to assembly and add and where is the sliding jaw okay here is the sliding jaw let us open this click ok now I will take it to a position here and this should be uh, rotated by 90 degree okay so go to assembly constraint and let us give a line and center line so this center line should come and sit here and this is the only one constraint uh, and also we can give some parallelism between these two so let us go to parallelism and here is the parallel this should be parallel to this and there will be a movement along uh, x-axis because since it is a jaw it's a sliding uh, so if you want to completely constrain it you can just move it further outside so okay and now we can uh, give the distance so that it will be completely constrained usually when it is uh, when you are making any kinematics so you don't need to fix all the components since some of the components will be having some uh, 
moments so let me give it as a 50 and click ok so now it is fully constrained so the next component will be uh, job plate which comes and sits on this face so let us go to an assembly and add that component okay here is a job plate so let us import this and let me position it here okay so go to assembly constraints and uh, give a line so center line from this to this and now let us give a touch alignment between this face to this face this face to this face Okay, now I think only one direction along rotation along with x axis will be active. So let me check that. Yeah, as you can see here along the x axis there will be a rotation. So let us give parallelism with some other face so that it will be restricted. So I'll just give the parallel with this. So now as you can see here this is completely constrained. Now we have a jaw screw so let us add that jaw screw okay here is a jaw screw let us move it to position it is not necessary to move the move it to position you can just uh, give the consent so that it will come and sit but i actually prefer to do this so now let us give a line lock between this face to this center line and now we have to make a touch between this face to this face so let us go to prefer touch and select this edge or face and select this so as you can see here this is completely constrained so now we need to add uh, this uh, same handlebar on this as well so go to handlebar copy it and paste it as you can see here the quantity is increased to 2 just right click and unpack it so this is fully constrained and this is not constrained so let us move this to this location okay now go to assembly constraint and we have an align lock here so between this center line to this center line so now we have to give a center uh, constraint so in order to se select the center constraint we can just move it in order to select the faces so since it is hidden okay now let us go to center and here you can select a 2 is to 1 this face with this face and this center line now as you can see here this is also completely constrained okay now we are left with a, a last component that is a wise nut which will come and sit here so let us add this and here is a wise nut click ok So let, uh, let us so now let us constrain the, this using an assembly constraint so I'm just going to make this constraint with this center line similarly I'm just going to do it on this as well and now we are left with uh, only one moment if you can check only along z x axis there will be a rotation sorry x axis along uh, you know translation so we have a translation along x axis so go to assembly constraint and give a touch between this face to 
this face click ok as you can see here our all uh, com components are fully constrained and you can refresh this now if you want to hide all the uh, assembly constraint you can just flow go here and uh, you can just hide this uh, so that it will, it will not be messing you so as you can see this is the clamp uh, which is fully constrained this is how we can work with a uh, assembly constraint guys please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button as well as share my videos thank you